Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Max from SketchUp TV and as I said in the last video we will be today uh, creating an animation of these two screens right here in principle and we will just use the new latest feature that is now available in principle which is the import feature. I already made a other video about the feature in the latest beta but now let's just get into this. So you can simply import sketch files while having your sketch file opened up. Import it, take a moment and there we have it. So now we have some smaller problems. You see that the second screen, the nav, isn't really uh, great imported. It's only an image and we want to animate all the parts, especially this one. So I just close this up to get a new one. And we go back to sketch. So we have to prepare our sketch file a bit. So the thing that we want to animate is a screen transition clicking this uh, area right here, this icon. And this black screen should just move and to the right side and should be a little bit smaller. And to achieve that, we simply export this second screen, I, uh, this profile screen, so the first screen. I already did that. And we have to delete the profile of our navigation screen. So get rid of that. And now we simply do the same thing again. And now you see we just have this actual part that we need here and it's working fine. And on the other hand we have our profile and in this case we really have um, a nice a well exported uh, design. So sometimes, or imported, sorry. So sometimes you have the problem like me right now that you don't really have a great import and just try to get a workaround. I'm sure the guys of principle are working on that. They're really doing a great job. Adding this feature is so important and it works out sometimes really well, but don't blame them if it doesn't work out every time. So just try to get a little workaround and in my case I did that by exporting this screen separately and as I said I have it right here. I'm going to make it smaller to fit it the actual screen and we will place it just above this one for the animation. We are doing this because we need the same file and uh, file name on both screens. So I copy it and paste it onto this screen. And on this second screen, on the nav screen, I will make it just a little bit smaller. And I place it in the correct position. You can also just check it out in this preview right here, like this. And what we are going to do now on our profile outboard is that we will need the nav icon. I draw to the top of the layer list. It's actually right here, but we can't make it clickable. So just draw it at the top. And now we are able to create a link. So I want to tab it and it should bring me to the second screen. Now, if we play this animation, which we will just do now, you will see that it's popping up. So the background is not really fading in or something. It's like popping in from a white background color to this purple. And I don't like this effect. It should be really smooth, but that isn't the case at the moment. So what I'm going to do is to just get the background color of this layer by going to our first artboard, then we go to fill and we can choose this tool to select it. So right now it should be already way better. Let's look at it. It's already much better. You see, 
We can now do some things with the animation uh, with the menu content right here. So we can copy this one to our first screen. It's invisible right now. We can also um, make it visible. We can actually also get rid of this one right now. And now we could change the opacity to 0% and make this visible again. So maybe we see a nice fading animation. Yeah, and we just get it. We can also change the opacity so it's doing this animation a little bit later, like this. It's probably too late. But I actually like this uh, way of fading in. Oops. Maybe we just go back to the old state. Maybe I just don't uh, change the opacity to 0%. I actually liked it first when it just was like this, when we just have the content page moving to the right side. But in our second screen we want to have a nice little animation of course uh, again so we can close the menu. So and what to do now? We don't have this menu icon as we have it right here. We could copy the menu icon to our second screen and paste it and resize it. But we could also create a little imaginary uh, clickable area. So there are not uh, any current uh, clickable areas yet. We just use our rectangle tool for that. So we choose this one. I give it a plaque fill, this fill, and let's change the opacity of it to 1%. So now it's 1% visible enough visibility for us to create an animation back to the first screen. So now let's look at our result. We see that the menu icon is popping up at the top left corner right now. So we just need another walk around for that. So we have this uh, layer tab and we want the menu icon to appear after our screen is there again. So maybe let's just copy it to our second screen and let's change the opacity to 0%. Let's look what's happening. You see we have uh, an animation right now that I don't really want, but we will fix it of course. So let's just go back to this shape and let's say it should start to be visible just after our whole animation has taken place. So here we just still have it, but when we go back you don't see this weird effect because it's just changing from 0 to 100% after all the other animations happened. So this icon is basically already there and it's just again uh, loading right here. But for our first animation, which was this one, we don't want to have it uh, getting invisible right there. So we just go and do basically the same. We could just uh, delete or yeah, not delete but change the time to zero seconds so it actually should just work out fine. And as you see it's just work out, working out perfectly. So we now have a nice menu animation right here something very usable in your designs and in your real apps. Sometimes people said, Max, this isn't really possible and it's 
uh, th this would take so much time, to, this would take so much effort and money. But I think this is a really simple step and a simple thing that you can really do in your real apps. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Of course check out the links down in the description where you can download the files, the sketch file and the principle file. And yeah, thank you for your time guys, enjoy your week. I hope you've seen the latest videos in the new video series that I started, which is for freelance designers and UX designers. So check that out. The first video was about wireframing and this video, this week's video, will come out on Wednesday about a different topic. So have a look at it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you for your time guys. See you.